Hello everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. My name is Emmanuel and in this video I will teach you how to add another website to your Google Merchant Center account using an advanced account. So for example if you have multiple domains targeting different countries or you are a manufacturer with different brands or you're a marketplace then having an advanced account allows you to have sub accounts so that each domain can have their own sub account. This allows you to get approved a little bit easier than compared to having the account separated. It also allows you to have easy management of all your accounts within one main account. So one thing to be aware of is that when you uh, request an advanced account and you can't, it comes up with an error, that means that you are already a sub account. For example, that happens when you have registered your Google Merchant Center account using Shopify or WooCommerce. They create then the account. So in this case, you need to contact Google to separate yourself from the advanced account. So in this case, Shopify or WooCommerce and that you are your own account. At that stage, then you can request an advanced account. Uh, one note is that some merchants get confused that they have to register a sub account or sorry, an advanced account if they want to register uh, subdomains. So subdomain is, for example, fr.example.com or be.example.com. So that's a subdomain. You don't have to do that. You do get an error if, for example, you have you have verified and claimed the website. So, for example, https colon slash slash example dot com. Then you can register the data feeds that have a subdomain in them for each country in the same account. Uh, for me, I prefer to do it that way because then everything is in within one little account. It makes managing everything a lot easier. However, you can technically register uh, the subdomains in different Google Merchant Center accounts or in this case, if you have an advanced account, different sub accounts. In that case, what you need to do is have the verified website in the first account as https colon slash slash www.example.com. So not to without the www. And then you can register the subdomains in different accounts. So when you're in your Google Merchant Center account, what we want to do is go to the cog icon in the top right corner then choose general account options, scroll a little bit lower and then here you can see advanced account setup and then here you can request it. So only request a conversion if you are a company that has multiple websites for the purpose of targeting different countries or you're a manufacturer with different brands. So a reseller with different brands, that's not the same as a manufacturer because I've, I've noticed I get a lot of emails uh, with customers asking, I want to target, for example, the UK with 10 websites. They're all my own. I'm just reselling something else with a different brand like Nike, Adidas uh, and so on. That's, of course, not applicable and you will get rejected for that reason or worse, get suspended. Um, or you're a marketplace owner so that each uh, reseller that you have on your marketplace needs a sub, sub account. So those are the three reasons why you should have an advanced account. If you're not applicable to those, avoid setting it up because you will uh, potentially get uh, suspended uh, afterwards. Once we have our advanced account approved, we will be able to see our new account where we will see the overview, accounts and then growth. And then if we scroll a little bit lower in the overview section, we will see our sub account for one account, which is your original Google Merchant Center account. So this advanced account, you cannot add products. So it's just actually a container to include all the sub accounts. So to add a new website or an account, what we want to do is go to accounts and then simply click on add account and follow all the instructions. Make sure that your website is policy compliant to minimize the potential that you get suspended. So it's always best to try and avoid the suspension than, of course, to just risk it. Uh, because once you are suspended, it's very hard to get approved. Um, so that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.